I want to refresh the page one more. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going. All right. Justin did say we were going, but uh, dang, the fight just wasn't listening. So, hey, welcome to the Bluefin Hangout. Uh, we're here on Thursday, a little, little bit early, because tomorrow, Justin, myself, and AJ will be at the Tamashi Nation's pop-up shop in Santa Monica, hopefully broadcasting from there, doing something fun, showing you guys all of the cool stuff that Tamashi has brought to the West Coast. So if you're in the area, in the Santa Monica area, go to TamashiNations.com or follow at TamashiNations or at Bluefin Brands. We'll point you in the right direction and you will be able to see the greatest assembly of Tamashi Nations products in the West Coast probably ever. That's a bold statement. That's a bold <laughs> statement. Not sure if I'm ready to back that up, but it will be an incredible assortment of Tamashi Nations product. We're talking figure arts, figure arts, mini figure arts, zeros, probably some metal builds, probably some robot spirits, all of the good stuff all in one place. Santa Monica, Third Street Promenade. But today, we are not talking about Tamashi Nations, even though that is my favorite subject. We're talking about <laughs> Mr. Clark's favorite subject. We're talking Gundam, especially Hathaway, uh, which just, uh, just became viewable on Netflix uh, a little over a week ago. It is an English dub, so I was stoked. Uh, so we assembled a, uh, a pretty good panel here. So starting off with Mr. Cavender, always a pleasure to have you on board. How are you doing today? I am fabulous, David. Thank you very much. And Mr. David Clark, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Talking about Gundam. It's a good day. Awesome. And regular <laughs> panelist, Mr. Sean Lightmeyer, brand manager extraordinaire. Sean, how are you doing today? I'm excited to be here. All right. All right. Hathaway's Flash. Let's start it off. Am I the only one who watched it in the dub? Did you guys all watch subs? Well, yeah, we're not subs. Not savages. <laughs> I, I I went the Edmondson route. I went the Bandai oh. Dave route, and it was defaulted to that. So I was like, eh, we'll, we'll just. I was uh, excited because this time it defaulted to Japanese because I think uh, I watched the other one a couple weeks prior to that. So yeah, same yeah. here. Yeah. My Netflix account's like, no, we're not giving him dub. No, we like him. <laughs> Give him sub the way God intended. I, I want to say Japanese was the <laughs> default for me, uh, but I just uh, toggled that little audio button up in the top right. <laughs> and be like, we're going English, you guys, because I don't like to read. I like to watch cool you need stuff. Some conversion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of cool stuff, uh, we actually have a contest live on bluefinbrands.com right now. So if you go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest, you can enter to win some really, really cool Gundam stuff that Steven's going to cut to right now. There we go. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's our it's our typical Gleam giveaway, uh, action-based. So uh, do cool stuff, win cool prizes. So, uh, so, yeah. Including, what did we decide? The key Gundam? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I have, a, I have a big old box right here somewhere. Oh, that's not that big. Uh, that's a perfect great size. Box. It has a handle, Dave. That makes it even <laughs> so more amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't. I didn't realize that handle was a designation with Gundam, but uh, with Gumpla. But I've learned recently that people will refer to Gundam Gumpla with handles as yeah. Handle Gumpla. That is, it's a whole other world. Yeah, that's a you could strike thing. someone with that box. Yeah, <laughs> and so if you want extra chances to win, make sure that you comment below in whatever platform you're watching, be that YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, wherever. Give us some comment, get some bonus entries in there. Uh, we'd love to know what you thought of Hathaway. If uh, you watched it, the dub or sub, what you think of the new Gundam designs, everything about Gundam, uh, and if you are excited for the continuation of the Hathaway series. So, uh, did everyone here know this was a part one of two? Or part one of part something. One of three. three. Yeah. 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 I, mean, we, I mean, we all, we all three knew that. <laughs> Everyone knew that. Everyone but David. Like, you were the only who didn't know that in the world. That I was, was informed about like three minutes before I was finishing, and David Clark was like, well, you know, it's just part one. I'm like, oh, I'm not even done with this. Yeah. <laughs> took a little while to get took a while to get going. Uh, I expected a little more gun, uh, mobile suit on mobile suit action, but... Uh, mm -hmm. um, Sean, do you think that this is an approachable like entry point? Like I felt like I was missing a whole lot of the information at the beginning because I had not watched all of Mobile Suit Gundam. So do you think that the original Mobile Suit Gundam and Charge Counterattack and all that is mandatory watching? Or do you think you, you, you should know enough going into it that uh, you're able to follow along? I think it's a good entry point even for me. It was um, I later found out that it's not technically the re like a correct sequel to Charge Counterattack because... In Char's counterattack, I guess he uh, he ends up killing Hathaway, kills the person who kills the mobile armor. And in this one, it's because it's based on the manga, which is based on the Char's counterattack manga. Which is based on a true story. Which, yeah. Yeah, which is based on a true story. When <laughs> Hathaway was the one who did defeat the mobile armor in that in that um, written text. Nice. So it's, it's basically like when I was watching the movie, they were saying like, oh, Hathaway, you, you took down that mobile armor and everything. And it's like, but in Shars Counterattack, he killed the person who killed the mobile armor, which then is almost like he basically is getting credit for not doing something he did and killed the person who did the kill. 
So he's taking credit for someone else's work. But didn't he say that? Doesn't he just like, eh, no, well, he's kind well, of accidental. Yeah, stuff <laughs> happened, you know. Happen, you know? <laughs> he was in love with the woman that was in the mobile armor. Of course. Got it. So I that's hate her why so much. I he's am kind so of, glad she's dead. Yeah. So glad. She was the one that they had like a brief three seconds of her jumping off of the car and then Char was getting kicked down the hill and Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> and we should probably throw out the good old spoiler alert. Uh we will be talking spoilers. <laughs> After uh, that. <laughs> you know, I, I mentioned some, Sean mentioned some. So clearly we are going to be talking spoilers on part one of Hathaway that's available now on Netflix. Uh, so, hey, Justin, why don't you put the sheet Gundam on the middle of the table? It's big enough. It's a big enough table. Yeah. The key Gundam? And, and the, oh, sorry, the key Gundam. Key. And, and then I can take and it. And Penelope. That's yeah, well, we Double do pack. Like, oh, we got, we, got, we got both? There's a lot of stuff, yeah. There is a lot. We get... And you can have a standalone. Oh, there's the Penelope. Cool. So oh, we're wow, actually going to have... Um... Oh, that's a key Gundam. Oh, sorry. Um, we are actually going to have multiple winners. Uh, it's not just one winner. We'll have three winners. Very excited about that. There'll be a first, second, and third place. Uh, but first place does get uh, the combo set, which is awesome. Ooh. But yeah, look how beautiful that is. <laughs> making, you, making you move there. So yeah, so a lot of ways to enter, a lot of ways to win. Uh, you know, you can get extra entries by commenting below, liking, sharing the video, all that good stuff, all that normal jazz. Uh, so so David. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've watched a couple episodes of Gundam before, right? A few, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a few. Uh, and you've uh, have you you've actually read? Uh, so I I I shouldn't shouldn't done this. I went and I read like all the spoilers for like the, like the entirety of Hathaway's Flash. Like I like, I already know how it's going to end, and I was like, oh, all right. I, I mean, I won't say anything about it, but uh, interesting. And I can't wait to see how you know how they pull it off. But uh, uh, yeah, I I it's I've seen a lot of it so far. <laughs> now for the Netflix version, I, I I haven't finished watching it because uh, my stupid family was like, "Hey, life." So I got about twenty minutes in and had to stop. But I will finish it hopefully this week, as long as they stop existing for a little bit. Nice. <laughs> and Justin, you had just watched Mobile Suit Gundam on Netflix. Do you feel, having watched that, that you got additional enjoyment out of this because you knew everything about Mobile Suit Gundam <laughs> right. going into yeah. it? I'm a subject matter expert now, right? A SME, as we like to call it. <laughs> um. No, not, excuse me, not really. But I, one of the interesting things that I did like about Mobile Suit Gundam was sort of the, the spy thriller aspect to it. I like the espionage. I like the sneaking around. Um, so I did get a lot of that in this first movie. Um, I liked the sort of the executive decision plane takeover kind of move that was happening. Mm -hmm. um, I like. We're not going to make it. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and, I, and I also like the idea of of two sides getting to know each other off the battlefield. I thought that was really cool. Uh, it's low key, um, and I'm having no idea what happens in the future. Um, I did. It, it's nice to know that uh, based on their conversations, that could have an impact on their opinions of of how they're going to handle things or right. or mishandle things in the future based on uh, these quick little relationships that they were able to form. Right. I mean, that's one of the good things about Gundam is that it's never good guys versus bad guys. It's your guys mm -hmm. versus mine, and Every time, once they get to talk to the other side, they realize you're not the evil, soulless <laughs> monster that I thought you were. Sure, you dropped the colony and Australia is gone. But hey, just, you just also so like you. jokes and, and food and walks on the beach, you know? Right. <laughs> but when there's a giant mobile suit that's just tearing through your city or your spaceship, mm -hmm. it takes away the, the human factor, right? A little bit, a little bit. giant robot destroying yeah, everything. Yeah, a so little bit. Yeah, the yeah. humanity is... is Pull sucked away yeah, versus for, just a normal conversation at, for a tiny bit. at yeah, a food court. That was one of my favorite parts when uh, they actually the gun, the mobile suits are fighting and there are people down below yeah. and you're like, all these people are just getting murdered down. Yeah. Right. Well, Again, like, burned by thrusters and the bullets are coming out. I liked how he changed his position where he was like, he had his back to the city and he was like, you guys aren't going to fire at me. And then they started firing at him. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 you're not supposed to do that. Right. He's like, oh, well. Uh, it brought a lot more reality to it. That's, sure. that's one thing I, I love about Gundam as a whole. It's really good at showing the effect that these awesome fights have on regular people. Like one of the ones I'll never forget was it was during a uh, Gundam F91 where uh, they, they uh, one of the mobile suits was firing like like machine gun shells, and a person was like running under it, and the shell just hit him on the head. Mm -hmm. And like I'm like, whoa! Like you'd never think about that. So I love right. when they call attention to that kind of stuff. It's like when you get hit by an icicle when you're in Russia or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like in the Transform <laughs> movies where you see like Optimus and Megatron fighting, and poor Sam and like his girlfriend are just down there, just trying not to get trampled and stuff like that. So yeah, that's right. Not to bring it all back to Transformers, but I'm okay with that. Transformers is, <laughs> Transformers is pretty cool. But I mean, even when they were just walking along and the, there's traffic. And instead of like animals crossing, it's just like mobile suits walking <laughs> by. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, that's part of their everyday 
uh, which is pretty hard to handle. That would be a hilarious, like, sign, like, mobile suit crossing sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, a, like a Zaku just you know, walking across. Oh, it's a Zaku, and then it's, like, two people in, like, a puddle. Like, Oops, <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't pay attention. Oh, sad. Sorry. <laughs> Now the animation was really beautiful in this. So, so Sean, uh, what did you think of the animation of this film? I liked it. It was I, the I think the best part when it started when you start realizing it's a little bit different is when that um, the spaceship takeover, the airplane, whatever it was, gets taken over, and then when Hathaway notices, like he's like they're not part of that organization. He sees them and he sees them in the eyes. He shoots two guys, and then it shows like like almost it's obviously not the camera, but the camera basically follows him through the cockpit and everything. And he's like taking the, the plane back over and everything. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. He's like, how can you be part of the organization when I'm part of the organization? I've never <laughs> seen you before. Show right. me your name tag. Yeah, but no meetings. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a pumpkin on his head. Yeah. You know, that, it looked legit, but. Right. Uh, it's scandalous. Yeah, huh? you need more than, uh, than a hollowed out gourd on your head to, to claim leadership in this yeah. universe. And I think also to Sean's point on the animation and noticing a difference, I think um, anytime there was water on the screen or any sort of, just flying object is when I it really stood out to me. I was like, oh man, this is not something that I'm used to, to seeing mm-hmm. different anime stuff. Yeah, whenever they go in the water in Gundam, I'm always like, like, don't do that. Right. <laughs> you're metal, you're heavy, you're gonna sink. It's fine. Yeah. It's like space, <laughs> but just more wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like space but wet. Yeah. But instead of uh deadly atmosphere getting in, uh you're gonna get water, you're gonna drown. Yeah, it's, it's slow death. Mafty? Is that the name of the yeah, Mafty. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Need a membership card. <laughs> what is the last name? Mafty Aaron. I remember the well, I'm blanking, but I know that every part of his I name think... is, is a different language. Uh, I, uh, I think the last name is like a first name. So it's like Mafty's, uh, Mafty's the only Mafty name. Mafty Navu Aaron is what Aaron. Uh, I didn't know that. It's on the Wikipedia. Yeah, XX Nike has a nice question. Uh, do you think Bandai will make master grades from the movie? Well, how big is that uh, Penelope high grade? Yeah, high grade is pretty you, big. Have, you, you don't want that. Yeah. You you think you want that? <laughs> you know How much space that. you got? Because <laughs> these things are bigger than the double Zeta. So like if like if the mask for the double Zeta is already like ridiculously huge, like this, like the this that's no, you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of parts. <laughs> it's a lot of parts. Even, even for a like grade. the inner frame would be just just outstandingly large. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. People make room. They're 28 meters <laughs> taller than Granddad, according to Gumpla Jake. And I, yeah. I guarantee mm-hmm. he knows more better than I do. Yeah. Hey, hey, Sean, how do you spell your name? Do you spell it S C A N S H A W N or S H U N? S H A U N. There people, you go. people want to know. Is that a people, question? That was. <laughs> put it up on the screen. I mean, I know, but yeah. no one something tells me that uh, that Beak Doe is also named Sean and is trying to figure out if uh, what click they're in. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh, we're, yo! We're, oh, someone's trying to take Ma- it's, it's Mafty coming. It's, Mafty. <laughs> it's like the Kool Aid Man is about to break through. It's, it's the S E A N shot. Yeah. <laughs> we're coming for you. We're coming for you. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey. what is happening right now? They're like know. nailing stuff. Or it's colony drop. That oh could, gosh, that could they should at least knock in like a rhythmic thing, like 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 shaving a haircut or something like that. Yeah. Oh. A little, oh, they're, they're My kinda, goodness, I hear a caressing sound. Oh, that's cute, but wrong. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, why so curious, Beak? Now, yeah. now I want to know. <laughs> I'll just change my name to Mafty. I'll, there you go. I'll drop to Sean. I'll be like uh, Hathaway Noah. You can spell, you can spell Sean B-E-A-K-D-O-E. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of like David. There's two ways to spell David. There's D-A-V-I-D and then there's C-L-A-R-K-E. No! <laughs> <laughs> My first name is David. the only one. Yeah. There could be only one. One day we should do like a like a, like a katana fight somewhere. Like film it. It'd be great. Add no. some effects and stuff. What was the... Yeah. There was a name. It was a Josh... It was like a Josh War or something like that. Where oh, yeah, yeah, guy, yeah. The, the War oh, of the Joshes. He sent like a text message out like a year in advance to everyone yeah. he, whose number he could find that was like... And they showed up. Him. Yeah, like that hundreds of people day. showed up. Yeah. And then they determined... I can't, I can't take it. It was like, like, like right. it was little Josh, I think that won. Yeah, well, yeah. They let the six year old win. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, we can't beat up, we can't well, beat up the older kids. I don't know. He could have been the strongest Josh. He must have been the strongest. Josh. He was. The force was strong with him. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, it's Wayne. Wayne uh, HR director extraordinaire. <laughs> Dang. The Bluefin Gun Bros. Mm-hmm. Did you get him? I got him. All right. Are we still and doing don't it? Never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Seek Zion. What? Who? Where are we seeking? Zion. I don't think that's always. I don't think you can say that. I always say it. 
think that's against the rules. Oh, it's legally on. All right. Well, <laughs> well, back to the issue at hand. Uh, Hathaway on Netflix. Make sure you enter our bluefinbrands.com slash contest to win a bunch of cool stuff, including the key, including the Penelope high grades. They are enormous. They are incredible. It's going to be three winners. There's some Star Wars kits in there, some Pokemon kits. I think a real great Evangelion. So much cool stuff. Uh, Steven's got it on board there. And the contest goes for about six days, uh, seven days. You can enter daily. Uh, you know, make sure to get your daily entries. There are things like visit a web page for like 10 seconds, you know, that, so take all a couple, easy stuff. Yeah. Take a couple minutes. If you're not following us on social media, follow us, you know, that's the easy way to get some, some free entries as well. Um, but yeah, that blue and video are yeah. the, are those kits all, are those kits all for those kits? Are those kits all for those kits? We are going to have three winners. Uh, one of them even gets this Epion, which is one of my favorites. Anybody that watches these live streams know that I absolutely adore Epion. It's one of my favorite mobile suits ever. And uh, you get to win this kit. So that's awesome stuff. Yeah. But yeah, three winners. And uh, Dave mentioned um, Evangelion. This uh, real grade, Ava, is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, people that always finish them on social media and they share them, uh, the finished product always looks gorgeous. Ooh, it has the platform with it, too. Yeah. Ooh, nice. For when it's just sitting there like it always is with Shinji. Yeah. And, <laughs> get in the robot. Inactive. Get in the robot, Shinji. <laughs> Oscar's dying. Save her. Oh, I'm, I am still salty about that I fight, man. She got robbed. I mustn't be afraid. She got robbed. She um, afraid. So, no, the um, the kits are going to be divided up. Uh, first place will get um, the Penelope and Key uh, box set, uh, along with other things, but uh, that goes to the, the first place winner. The other stuff will be uh, broken up. But uh, trust me, if, you're, if your backlog is, is piled up pretty high already, it's just going to get worse. You're going to win a lot of stuff. <laughs> Yes, of course, 19 kits all together. Well, 20 kits, but 19 boxes. Of course, I have this one. You may not. That it goes to the, I already have it. It goes Thanks. to the winners. I mean, you I, could try to make an agreement with the winner and maybe like you throw give something me, else in. Instead. Give me this. Whoever wins, give it to me. Just uh, give yeah, it to Gumpel me. Yeah, Gumpla Jake said he just finished the Epion last night and it's gorgeous right out of the box. So uh, Ooh, nice. share your pictures uh, with Appleof and Brands and we'd love to share them and uh, show it off. We love, we love looking at all the kits that you guys build. We love looking at your backlog because... Typically, backlogs are pretty impressive, you know, Mr. David Clark. <laughs> but uh, it's not that bad. there is no shame to a backlog. That just means you are ready that if the apocalypse comes tomorrow, the zombies are, are coming, you can just See? board up your doors and just spend the last couple days of your life just spend it all building Gunpla. Okay. So don't be afraid of the Big backlog. Brain play. Yeah. Big brain. There are some easy ones, too, though. A um, couple of uh, SD kits uh, made the cut. Yeah. Which is awesome. Uh, these actually, the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the SD. Um, the heroes, the SD World heroes, mm -hmm. are there. yeah, they're awesome, man. Like this one's like Robocop looking guy. You got, I'm looking at Death Scythe, awesome stuff, man. Also, the weapons and effect parts with these are really great for kit bashing, like for other things. Like I, I buy those just for their effect parts. They're amazing. Yeah. So and they got motorcycles and horses and all kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is a fighting word for you, Mr. David Clark, but uh, Johnny Ridden says, "Can Bandai cancel Gustav Carl kits?" Oh, what? Who who are you? <laughs> why why do you hate me? That's that's what I want to know. That was a personal attack. He knows I love Gustav Carl, and Gustav Carl will be in Hathaway's Flash. So it's coming, whether you like it or not. You I know did, what? They did now we're getting Master Grade. Now yeah. we're getting Master Grade. I'm gonna push for it. I'm going to Japan. We're making a Master Grade. Make that the next perfect grade, the Gustav Carl. Also, Johnny Redden, good name. He's oh, that's a good name character. No. So, so who, right? who, whose suit is red and black? So I, I mean, to, so I are you friends? It. Are you not friends? <laughs> Frenemies. We're frenemies. Yeah. We're frenemies. Yeah. Like I, I, I dislike your Gustav Carl comment, but I like your choice of name. So, uh, Chrysal Gumpla says Gustav Carl is dummy thick with two C's. See, oh, he understands. <laughs> he understands. Like some thick there. Right. Oh yeah, Johnny Ridney's doubling down. Gustav Carl sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have so many of them. I have so many. I tried so hard to get that made too. <laughs> That's okay. You you have plenty of friends in here. Thank you. It's a great kid. I mean, you know, yeah, it's three seconds of being on screen. Is it dying? But it died amazingly, though. So, so well, yeah. yeah. It's all about how you die, right? It's, it's what right. a cool way to die. It's I mean, how you live cool how you, like you look when you die. <laughs> <laughs> nah, living's overrated in Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> it just gets worse the longer it goes. <laughs> the longer you live. It's true. <laughs> worse weapons come along. You're like, oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> So, other than is David the only one who knows what's gonna where this story goes? Sean and Justin, you guys are. I don't know. I am in the dark. I know all the things. There's gonna be more Gundams. <laughs> all the things. There's gonna be more GG. There's gonna be more Hathaway. And I, mean, I, I, I hope hear so. he's gonna be going by the name Mafty. Oh, 
Oh, all right, yeah. Well, let's get into the GG and uh, Hathaway of it all. Did Justin, did you enjoy their interplay? Like, I would, I thought they were getting two rooms, and then all of a sudden they decided to share a room, and then he got all weird when there was a like a pretty naked lady in his room. Oh yeah, that's an anime thing. He's an anime protagonist. <laughs> that's that's just how it works. That's part. It comes with the territory. Yeah. All right. I don't. Yeah. Sorry. Great at fighting laugh. wars. Woman comes in, freeze entirely. Right. Right. <laughs> here's here's a interesting comment. Um, you know, when are you guys gonna start uh, reprinting kits? You know, COVID's COVID's no more an issue. Um, you know, we need plastic. That is that couldn't be further from the truth. There's <laughs> yeah. there's a Japan has a state of emergency. <laughs> yeah. Un- unfortunately, yeah. There's just a, a lot of a lot yeah. of delays, mostly just on the water, uh, container delays. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're buying Gundam. It doesn't matter if you're buying furniture. It doesn't matter if you're buying wood. Yeah. There's just stuff all over the world that is not getting here fast enough. Right. Uh, and it's become quite an issue. So I can assure you, as soon as it hits our our docks and our warehouse, right. we divert immediately. And right. it's uh, it's amazing. It's yeah. quite a process, but um, stuff just can't get here soon enough. All right. Right. I'm gonna give you a peek behind the curtain. Bandai is uh, in the in the in the uh, in the realm of making some money. So if they can make money by selling more gumpla, <laughs> they they're, they're not uh, they're not short in gumpla right. because they uh, they want the scarcity. You know, they right. want to get kids to everybody because they know everyone loves them. Uh, especially during COVID, everyone's getting puzzles and gumpla and model kits and stuff like that. They're trying to get as fast as possible. Like Justin said, there's just so many shortages with so many things. Now there's shortage yeah. with actual like containers to put on ships. Right. right. So we're short ships. We're short the containers to put on the ships. We're short the product to put into the containers to put on the ships. It's it's not right. going well. Yeah. And don't forget, right. different parts of the world are recovering from COVID at different rates. So it's it might be cool here. It's not it's not as good in Japan. Yeah, Japan just announced <laughs> that they're not going to have fans in the there's stadium. There's no for the fans Olympics. in the Olympics. No, because that's still a state of emergency. So Gunpla is also probably affected. <laughs> Go represent your country. Like opening ceremonies aren't going to have fans in the stadium. That's yeah. It's gonna be weird. It is weird. It's gonna be quiet. But don't worry. When when it gets back to normal, the first thing they're gonna make is the Gustav Caro. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> all, all the variants. <laughs> all the, only only Gustav Caros. Every container is Gustav Caro. Like, you'll get like a like a like a master grade RX seventy eight box. Open it up. Gustav Caro. Then we got our pretty good April Fool's joke for next year. Ooh. We still buy his containers and just Gustav, <laughs> just Gustav Carl. Carl. <laughs> We're like, good news. New <laughs> hobby shipment. Like, this one's just Gustav Caro. Yes. The next one. <laughs> uh huh. The whole ship. And, and the Burt Clark is coming. The Burt Clark. Oh, oh. I actually have a custom Gustav car. I'll bring it next time. We can call it the Burt Clark. I I like that. Is yeah. it just a just a black and red Gustav car? No, <laughs> actually, it's black and purple. It's a uh, black Tristars themed. So oh, nice. yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, if you went to the pop up shop last year, you, you would have saw it there in the case. So yeah, Gumpla Gumpla Jake wants to uh, build uh, build your Gustav fleet. <gasps> I like him. It's all Ma- the same. He can win. Give him the thing. Yeah. <laughs> all the it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Sign up, sir, please. Yeah. You need to win. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, your buddy Johnny uh-huh. is back here. Our shipping delays due to uh, to uh, being weighed down by Gustav Carl. <laughs> I need money to recoup losses from making Gustav Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I said you had a cool name, man. Come on. <laughs> Somebody tells me we know this, Johnny. Uh, maybe. <laughs> That's funny. PG Carl. That's what everyone wants. PG Gustav Carl. Mm. Yeah. So, so David, what did you think of the whole GG of it all? She seems interesting. You know, I mean, <laughs> like how your voice went like interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. I mean, I I have to like I, I want to watch. Uh, you know, finish watching the whole thing to get a an accurate read on her. Yes. But my the first vibe I got, I'm like, oh, she reminds me of a more dignified Quest, mm. and I hate Quest. I was glad when she died. Oh so, man. Yeah, she. I. The, the rage is real. The rage is real. I don't know about all so, that. So uh, I'll see if if she maybe grows on me by the end. But right. yeah, do we have to have a disclaimer like the homicidal rage? <laughs> David Clark is not reflected by. She's just the worst. <laughs> just yeah. the worst. Uh, here's a good question. Uh, any bluefin gunpla exclusives for this year's Comic Con? It's the Gustav Carl. There you go. All Gustav Carl. There's, a, there's an SD, an HG, all the way up there's to the mega blue size. one. Yeah. There's the regular one. Entry-grade. There's both. The, yeah, there's the entry grade where it's just oh. two big pieces you put together and it's like boom, Gustav Carl. Yeah. <laughs> so Justin had mentioned a while ago that uh, keep 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 your ears peaked. There there may be an announcement relatively soon that will make gunpla fans very happy when it comes to. Uh, Hard to get or exclusive kits. Yes. Yeah. Save save your some monies yeah. for uh, probably lots of monies. 
in the next month or two. Yeah. But uh, if you're following at Bluefin Brands, it's the best way. Uh, They'll let you know. Or you can follow at Bandai Hobby US. Either one of those will announce as soon as we're able to talk about it. Uh, But it will be a thrilling event that I think everyone will be excited for. All right. Yeah. Should be. We were just using the studio the other day, and there was a lot of swearing going out of here between Mm -hmm. Mr. Clark and Mr. Janes back here. (laughs) Oh my god! Yeah, on the it'll, camera, it'll be good. Mm-hmm. It'll be good. Where did that Barbados shirt come from? Who's wearing Barbados? Are you wearing one? I'm wearing Barbados. Oh, yeah, oh. It's this was our 40th, 40th anniversary oh. shirt that we were selling at like convention season like two years ago. Yeah, and, and we uh, had online, and we had them online for a while. A yeah, while, for yeah, about yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, they are off the site. Um, I'd send you mine, but it's dirty, and I'm I'm a big dude, so you should you should probably ask the brand manager mm-hmm. for that. If there was a way to bring it back or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder who's the brand manager for apparel. That is crazy. I don't know. It's this one. Oh. So hit up at Offshoot Comics. Comics. I name names. Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> <They look> like... <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Neo Geo, will the U.S. have its own Gundam Expo? We had one last year. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We already had one. Maybe yeah. we'll have more. A lot of action. Yeah. A lot of contests. A lot of winners. A lot of prizes. A lot of exclusives. A lot of Gunplay. See, what you should be lot. asking is if we're getting a, a life size Gundam, Ooh. which, of course, Ooh. would be the Gustav Carl. Mm-hmm. With a V painted on its head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> Duct tape on. They won't even. They, they won't just straight fire us for for saying something like that. They'll they will murder us. They will send Gigi on us, and uh, her weird eyes will do something to us. But did she have powers? No, she, she just had. Oh. Ma- she had magical anti gravity hair. Sometimes I it mean, was down, and sometimes it floated. But like her eyes were like. There was some new type going on because somebody spoke. To, like she spoke to Hathaway like mentally before she said it out loud. So there was some magic going on. Or was it Hathaway who was? It could be one of them. One of them. One of them was doing something new type magicy. <laughs> yeah, but she's weird. What's Justin? Say? Weird. Our new types are usually weird, so it fits. <laughs> hey, Dustin. Yeah, the uh, the Millennium Puzzle is. We're all extremely excited about it, and uh, you know it's selling amazingly well, and it's doing well. So you know, you never say never. You know, Hobby's making a lot of great licenses. You know, they they have Star Wars, obviously, they have Gunpla, Dragon Ball, um, you know, Pokemon, uh, Digimon, Common Rider. There you go. Team Rider represent. Get that in there. I think I got my. I don't know if I can show it anymore. I was worried today. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I would. I would not be surprised if we saw some really cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff coming, just because it is making quite a resurgence with cards and stuff. Yeah, people mm-hmm. putting guns and faces for trading cards. <laughs> yeah, serious business. Pokemon, it's, it's serious business. Yeah. These these pocket monsters. Do you know what keeps you safe while buying trading cards? Gustav Carl. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ooh. Texas needs a one to one Zaku. Yeah. I don't, we don't disagree. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're in California. We'd prefer it in California. Well, the sign that says, don't mess with Texas. Well, I yeah. mean, oh, that it, would be one of the colonies in Gundam is Texas Colony. That would be cool if they did like a, a thing out there for that. You get Shar on a horse. You get a statue. Yeah. Of you get, you get a, a giant Gundam <laughs> sized statue of Shar on a horse. I Look would've... at my horse. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> the Zaku's got like the Lone Star, like, flag it's got like the star where his maybe, eye is maybe a little cowboy hat <laughs> yeah. i uh i think we're on a texas colony Let's do that's it. he was raised in origin right like he was on like some kind of texas colony uh no no they they, they were they had another ranch somewhere else oh. but they end up having a fight in texas colony though oh, okay. they got like the little lasso things right that come out of their arm uh, something does i mean there's well, like the, there's the, just the like the, the little court, yeah that's the it court thing yeah what's well, a fun to... exercise since we're talking one-to-one gundams yeah <laughs> You know, you know, Japan has the RX that moves. It has the unicorn that lights up, and Shanghai has the Freedom Gundam, right? Right. So, what? We'll ask the the, the chat as well. Mm-hmm. What Gundam should come to America? And we're and we're not including the obvious choice of Gustav Carl, right? Well, no, you can include you can include whatever you after want after Gustav well, Carl. Well, after yes. Gustav Carl, let's just personally. assume we're not going to double up what's already out there. So we have right. those three. So they want to give like kind of like. Cinderella's Castle versus right. Snow White's Castle, and stuff so here's like that. Like here, here's my pick. It's out there because I know people are going to say, "Oh, pick Gundam Wing," because that's the uh, no, no, yeah, no. Epion. Is what, is what you, do. <laughs> do Epion. You, you, you 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 pick uh, Gundam Maxter from G Gundam, who was America's Gundam in that show. He is a football playing surfing cowboy Gundam, and it's the most American thing possible. All there right, and you have him doing his little victory punch in the air, and then and then yeah, just, just give, give America America's Gundam. <laughs> All, All right, right. Sean, do you have an <laughs> opinion on what Gundam you'd love to see on the American shores? Yeah, I'd say a Zaku. 
actually i think since someone already mentioned zaku in, in texas but maybe even just like a gm like an infantry kind of thing if we're doing in california especially with military bases being a big thing here i like how everywhere else has like the heroic gundams where the we bad guys the yeah <laughs> it says something <laughs> be nice if we got, yeah if we got a shar zaku that'd be pretty nice that would be cool I mind that one there you go what about you justin do you have a you going with epion uh, I mean, Epion's my favorite, but yeah, I, I would not be opposed to a Zaku. I, I'd sign up for it. I'd yeah. be there. But um, yeah, I would have to go with Epion. If if I got to choose, if I won the lottery and, and I got to, to pick my mobile suit that I wanted to represent, it would be Epion because uh, that's just kind of when this first one I saw, and Epion was my favorite from the series. So. Nice. I think it was one of the first times I saw anything from Black Series. He did this photo composite where it was like the Golden Gate Bridge, and coming out of the Bay Water was the RX-78. And uh, I want that to be recreated. I want I want the statue to be in the water, like hovering over the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, <laughs> holding it in there. Hold, yeah. Since it's all windy over there. Yeah, hold, it. <laughs> like, hold the signs. We the bridge the freaks me out, dude. Just like the sound that it makes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we walked across it last time we were there. It was fun. Whew. Oh, why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> we drove over it a million times. My, Sounds terrifying. My kid wanted to walk in. I'm like, are you sure it's far? And we got to walk back. And he's like, yeah, it'll be fun. And yeah, I had to carry him halfway back. How far is it? It's like three miles. Or something. Uh, it's like two miles, I think. It's not, oh, it's yeah. not that long. Dear God. Heavy arms this is an interesting point. Ooh. A lot of people like guns around here. Wait, wait. Which version of heavy arms? It's very important. The one, whichever one has the most guns. <laughs> okay, so custom. Like the full walls. Yeah. With the double, yeah. with, the, with the two double uh, machine guns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the mask? No, not, not the mask. The mask? I, I've never liked the mask. The mask on the ground, at least. No, like not I mean, that one scene at the very end. No, they can sell shirts there with that the mask yeah. on it, yeah. or they can just sell the mask there, but not oh, on the yeah, there we go. Sorry, sorry. No, that's fine. Got a tall, a tall, tall geese. Tall, mm. Barbados. Mm. Heavy arms. Custom. I mean, America, the Lupus. <laughs> like America, literally has a Gundam, though. Like <laughs> that's true. It's for America. Well, are we gonna do all the G Gundams for all the countries? We're gonna would, go to Mexico. I would, with I would the love Gundam? that. I would. People love Tequila Gundam. Or you call it Spike Gundam as it was in the dub. Okay, people people love that Gundam. It's hilarious. I'm sure it is. It is definitely hilarious. It's hilarious. That's definitely a good word. Or you, you could use the newer Daniel Custom from Build Fighters. It had like the little coffin and drags. It's pretty awesome. That's true. Yeah, every every country should get their gun though. Like I think it was Denmark. One of them has like windmill Gundam. The big windmill. It, and it should it should just be in windmill form, and they should just say. Trust us, it's a Gundam. There you go. Well, let's just get the we'll get the key Gundam, so we have the biggest Gundam ever. How about that? It's always bigger. Well, we we, we could get the, get the dark Gundam. That, one, oh, that, that one's yeah. That one. <laughs> just get the literal Gundam Devil <laughs> and put it somewhere. Yeah. Feel like an Xia or something like that. Wow. Robot, oh, robot horse. Robot Gun, horse. Gundam horse. Fun, fun Psyche. Just get just get that one. just get just get him and not Master Gundam. Just, yeah, just, just get the horse. Just get the horse by itself. <laughs> There you go. Let's get a big giant Haro. Ooh, oh, now we're talking. All right. Like, but we could have a couple. We, this is not like a one to one huge Gundam. You know, we could just have like a large Haro in like New York and Southern California, we Northern get California, the Texas, Haro Chicago. In the the, the, the little uh, mobile armor thing that uh, you know, that, that model kit we had a couple years ago, mm -hmm. where you put it in, like, in the little body, you get one of those and have it like pose like all dramatically, with, like a bunch of Haros all around it. Hilarious. Or let's just theme Haro to like all the different sports teams and put them in all the stadiums, so that way they're close to everybody in the country. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Everyone, can, everyone's not too far from everybody like baseball wins. or football or hockey or basketball stadium. And then, <laughs> and then, and then I mean, the giant Gustav Carl in the middle of the country. And, and then you open it up, up and you can have ice cream in it, like the, <laughs> oh, the hats are yeah. for baseball. What That's were you going to say? I'm sorry. I was going to say he opens up yeah. and there's a Gustav Carl. See? It's in my ice cream? No, not in your ice cream. <laughs> no, yeah. The it Haro is. opens up. Gustav Carl. Oh, I don't know. That, that, that ice cream thing sounds like a billion dollar idea right there. Because, <laughs> you know, we have like the helmets at like baseball games or the ice cream. Yeah. They do the nachos now, too. The, oh, the I helmets, would buy that. The big yeah. helmet nachos. Uh, Bondi. I'm not going to say, but I bought it. Bondi, listen to me. Do that. Do that. I will buy it there you so go. many times. <laughs> <laughs> One to one space colony. That's that seems like Yo, that seems that's, that's big. That's, uh, <laughs> that's ambitious. You <laughs> what? It depends yeah. where, on where Gustav where so you watch oh, Gundam yeah. and what happens to space colonies. It doesn't. I mean, yeah, especially yeah. the first one. Do you want Australia to be gone? Is that is that what you I mean, want? Just Sydney. Yeah. I mean, that's. Just I Sydney. mean, where else are you in Australia? Just Melbourne. Just Melbourne. That's the fake place. There's like a Queen's Perth. Something. Is that a, <laughs> Perth, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See, that doesn't even sound real. Shark Bay. <laughs> making <laughs> stuff up. <laughs> It's a fake places. It's like an Sydney. opera house in Sydney. Yeah, <laughs> which they show getting destroyed. Which I was like, oh, yeah, the, I want to go there one day. The scene was just 
<laughs> that's the direct hit point right there is that actually that would be kind of cool where they're aiming yeah. build it in build it in texas make it like a gundam base but like it's built like a colony because it's texas colony oh, that'd be pretty oh, cool man. but i and mean it, we, we live in anaheim who's that, paying that for seems this like stuff? a good idea to have the well, one yeah, in and, anaheim anaheim electronics yeah we definitely have something cool here but there is there is a, a literal texas colony though so i mean that's, that's, that's gold just sitting there waiting it's really hot in Texas. It is hot. Oh, well, I mean, we're not going. <laughs> like they should, they could build it, but I'm not going to go. <laughs> They'll send you pictures. <laughs> yeah, send me, send me photos. Do a, uh, uh, you know, like a digital tour or something. Street you know? view of Google Maps. Street view, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staring at a Gundam crotch here. I don't know what's going on. It took a took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh man. Now, uh, back to Hathaway. Mm -hmm. Are uh, Justin? Are you excited for the future of Hathaway? Are you uh, after seeing the first part? Are you excited to see parts two and three? Yeah, uh, one hundred percent. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I'm anticipating a happy ending, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Have you seen anime before? <laughs> yeah, I want things to shake. I wanted to shake things up a little bit. He, you know, do he, do something different. Break the mold. He thinks Gundam has a happy ending. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You sweet summer child. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a simple creature. No, um, no. I, I mean, I, I, I think it would be fun if there was a happy ending for once. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I, we had to wait a really long time for this. Yeah. So who knows how long we'll have to wait for uh, parts two and three? Yeah. Do we know? David or Sean? No, when not. Were coming? No. It should be sooner because this one was pretty much done. Yeah, last, it, it was summer. done for a while. Yeah, this yeah. one was done for like two years or something. so. Hopefully, in the interim, they work on the second part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, right. or worked on Thunderbolt. I'm yeah. kind of I'm kind of a fifty fifty where I'm not sure if I want more Thunderbolts or if I want more uh, yeah. Hathaway because both were left kind of at a cliffhanger and yeah yeah. But yeah. one I can see in movie theaters as long as Netflix doesn't directly put it onto Netflix when it comes out. Yeah. So definitely, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of Hathaways. This is um for people who know like the whole UC timeline. This is like one of the last hurrahs of the giant mobile suit because after this point is when they start miniaturizing. Uh, to like you know like the F nine ones the victories like it it like these are I think like the, like the Gustav Carl and the Mezer are like some of the last We're of start the big boys shocking you every time you never say Gustav. never but yeah like like this is like some of the last ones it's like, like it's seeing game. seeing, <laughs> seeing Penelope and 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 Key fighting it's like this is like the last hurrah of the big boys it's just it's all the all the little miniature guys so. next week someone's gonna be at work and being like someone was talking about Gustav Carl yeah was was Gustav Carl again why me. is there Gustav Carl in my brain. Yeah, like, yeah, they're gonna start mission accomplished. Gustav Carl, mission accomplished. You're All, welcome. Everyone, hobby watching from Japan, they're like, I guess we gotta make this Gustav Carl. It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, excellent. There was the P Bandai one. You got the P Bandai one, of course. You got how many did you get? I only got two because I already had four other ones. Oh my god. So yeah, Gustav Carl's. Yeah, with a Z, <laughs> <laughs> maybe two Z's. No, we're talking. Oh, all right. Well, cool. That is exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, talk about the contest one more time. Well, tell me what to do. Just do it. <laughs> All right. If you go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest, you will be you can enter to win uh, up to there's 19 different model kits up there. 19 boxes, 20 kits. Uh, there's going to be three winners to split that bevy of prizes. Uh, there is many, many ways to enter. You can enter every single day. You can even win this enormous Penelope that Justin has, but it's too heavy for him. He can't even put it on the table oh. because he did not have his Wheaties today. <laughs> oh, oh, he's lifting. Hopefully. He's holding. There's stuff in the way. No, oh, there's stuff in the way. Uh, so, yeah, so make sure to do that. Make sure to follow at Bluefin Brands across all social platforms. You know, that's where you'll get all your latest Ooh. news, reviews, highlights, talk about giveaways. It's all... So giant, it can't even focus. <laughs> yeah, Man, that's, that's a, back it up a little. Oh, there you go. That is a big, me. it's a big box. You yeah. can't even see David and Sean. You can see the top of our heads. It looks like Wilson from uh, Apple the six out. Home Improvement. I'm like, <laughs> who's that looking for? Employee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you guess it? Uh, but yeah, go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest, enter daily. Uh, someone has to win. Might as well be you. Uh, it has been a lot of fun talking Hathaway with you. Uh, make sure that if you're watching the replay, you leave a comment letting us know what you thought of the movie. Are you excited for the future? Who would win in a battle between the Key and the Penelope? Uh, and uh, just what you want to see from the future of Gumpla. And uh, yeah. So anything else, boys? Dub language of choice. Gustav Carl. Gustav English. Carl. English. I think it is, I think Netflix has like Spanish and German too. They, they did. But yeah. I speak English. <laughs> I might try watching another language just to like... Spanish next and German, and then you did watch then, another language. Last, I'll, it try in in, I'll try it in English next. <laughs> the, the final one will be English, and I'll be like, uh, and you'll hate it. Yeah, I'll like, I'll be like, German was the better one, especially when they say <laughs> GG. Right. Yeah. Every, every episode, watch a different language. 
and then rewatch all of them in English. Hilarious. <laughs> that sounds hard. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, remember, we are going to be in Santa Monica at the Tomashi Pop-Up Shop tomorrow. The Pop-Up Shop will be running from July 16th, which is tomorrow, uh, through September 26th. 26th. So you have over two months to go down to Third Street Promenade in uh, Santa Monica. It's beautiful down there. It's by the Santa Monica Pier. It is the Pokemon Go capital of the world. So if I am there, you will see me catching all of the Pokemon to irritate my wife even further with my uh, obsession, we'll call it. No, it's, uh, skill. it's a skill. It's called a hobby. It, okay, you are, we'll call it you hobby. are what, oh, you're over 40, right? I'm I am. Yeah. I'm 45 now. You, you are, you've earned that. I've earned it. I've earned it. My wife should be proud. There's not a lot of 45s <laughs> out there. Exactly. Um, but yeah, if you're in Santa Monica area, make sure to stop by. Justin, AJ, and I will be there tomorrow and sporadically throughout the event. Uh, if you go visit, make sure you take lots of pictures, post them on social media, and tag at Tomashi Nations at Bluefin Brands. And we will uh, we will share that with all of our lovely fans and stuff like that. So I think it's, I'm sorry, it's Tomashi Santa Monica. Hashtag Tomashi Santa Monica. No. Hashtag Tomashi Santa Monica. Yes. But tag us. There you go. <laughs> and then we'll do all the hashtaggies for you. So. Yes. Uh, but great. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll see some of you guys at the Tomashi stand. And uh, we will see you guys next week uh, during San Diego Comic-Con at home. We got some really cool mm -hmm. stuff for you. So make sure that you are following Bluefin Video on YouTube. Uh, we are going to have a fun uh, Family Feud game for you guys. So Cool. Check it out. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. See you. Bye. Stay so safe. Thank Don't back into so parking much. spots. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Those are the worst. Don't ever back into a parking no. spot.